In this video, we're going to look at calculating the variance and the standard deviation from a table. It's a bit like the same process as estimating the mean, but we've got to add an extra column to calculate fx squared. So as well as fx, this time we need fx squared as well. So we're going to call the midpoint x and frequency is f. And we've got the formula here, so the variance, which is little sigma squared, is going to be the sum of fx squared over n minus the mean squared. So the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. So the midpoint is going to be our x, and the frequency is our f. So we're going to have to work out fx and fx squared so if we look at the midpoints first so the midpoint of 11 and 20 that would be 15.5 have 25.5 35.5 45.5 and 55.5 if you're not sure what the midpoint is you can add the two um bounds up so 11 plus 20 and half it. So add them both up and divide by 2 will give you the midpoint. So we need to work out fx and fx squared. So we're going to use a calculator. So fx is just going to be f times x. So 15.5 times 10, 155. And then we're going to use the calculator to work out 25.5 times 27, 35.5 times 25, 45.5 times 16, and 55.5 times 2. And then we're going to work out fx squared, which is f, the frequency, times the midpoint squared. So just the x is squared, not the whole thing. It's not this fx squared. That will be f squared x squared. We're going to do f, so 10 times 15.5 squared. f times x squared. And we're going to use a calculator again. And we'll keep going through the table. So next one's 27 times 25.5 squared. Twenty-five times thirty-five point five squared. Sixteen times forty-five point five squared. And two times fifty-five point five squared. Okay, so now we just need to work out the sums. So the sum of the frequency, if we add up the frequency column, that will give us our n. The sum of the fx will give us sum of fx. And the sum of the fx squareds will give us sum of fx squared. So we're just going to use the calculator again to add up these numbers. So n is 80. Sum of fx is 2570. And the sum of fx squared is 90750. So now we're just going to type these numbers into the equation. So the variance is going to be sum of fx squared which is 90750 over n, 80, minus sum of fx, 2570 over n squared. And we just type that into the calculator, and it will give us our variance. So we've got 
one hundred and two point four to one decimal place. And then if we want the standard deviation, we're just going to square root the variance. So square root answer. And that will be 10.1 to one decimal place. Okay, so here's another question. Pause the video, give it a go and press play when you're ready to go through. So we're going to have X as the midpoint, F as the frequency, and then we're going to work out FX and FX squared. So the midpoints are 57, 62, 67, 72, and 77. Then FX is frequency times the midpoint, so 9 times 57. Got 513, 17 times 62, 1054, 24 times 67, 1608, 9 times 72, 648, and 177 which will be 77. fx squared is frequency times x squared. So 9 times 57 squared. 29,241. 17 times 62 squared. 65,348. 24 times 67 squared, 107,736, 9 times 72 squared, 46,656, and 1 times 77 squared, which is 5929. So N it's going to be the sum of the frequencies, which is 60. The sum of fx is the whole of the fx column added up. Which is 3,900. And the sum of the fx squareds is the fx squared column added up. I've got 254,910. So to work out variance, we just plug the numbers in. So we've got 254910 over 60 minus 3,900 over 60 all squared. Type it into the calculator. And we get 23.5. And if you want standard deviation, we're going to square root the answer, which is to three significant figures, 4.85.